Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is about a tool that you can install in your file manager to, uh, well, resize images on the fly and also uh, flip them or rotate them. And uh, this is a tool if you want to call it an extension to your file manager. So today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary since a lot of them default to, well, 460. It's happened to me many times and things look ugly in 460 when you're when the person filmed in, uh, in 1080, for instance. All right, Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon. That's what you're watching. So I'm gonna talk about the file manager and adding an extension on how to resize images on the fly. You're watching this video on Linux for Seniors. This is a faded out logo here. So to subscribe, you don't click this. You should see um, that circle should be right above your time and date. If you don't see it, you're not watching this on Linux for Seniors. You're watching it in somebody else's channel. However, if you do see that logo, you can click to subscribe, not here. So Linux for Seniors has over 250 videos on all kinds of tips and tricks. And if you're already a subscriber, well, welcome back and thank you. So let me open up the file manager. File manager for Cinnamon is Nemo. I'm going to open up the picture section. All right, I have some examples for you today. So let me go full screen. So I've got two pictures of Kitty down here, and I'll enlarge that slightly. So um, Kitty looks like that, kind of cute. Go full screen. And uh, that image is 1.9 megabytes, and it is currently the same uh, size as my screen resolution that I'm filming in, 1920 by 1080. So again, if things don't look right to you, go check that YouTube uh, gear symbol on your YouTube player. If it's sitting at 460, that's why. So I have a tool here that's normally not here. I'm right clicking on the image. The resize and rotate is a tool that you can install and I'll show you how to install that in a little bit. So I use the resize to go from a 1.9 megabyte down to 734 kilobytes. So what purpose would you have to resize images? Well, I'm gonna give you some thoughts. Maybe if you are wanting to put Kitty as a um, like wallpaper on your mobile device or your iPad or tablet or whatever it might be. You know, there's lots of reasons why people want to resize images. All right. So here's one that's seven megabytes that I resized down to uh, 1.7. It's Crater Lake, Oregon. So I'm going to show this from scratch. So I'm going to delete this one here and I'm going to right click on Kitty and do the resizes. So let me talk about a couple of things with this tool. First of all, you can certainly install separ separate applications like GIMP, for instance, to do this work with, but it's a complex tool for some folks. And, uh, and I do have that and I do use GIMP also myself, but this is for really doing this quickly for someone who just wants to resize things in a hurry. It starts out by 16 by 16 and goes all the way down to 1280. So if you don't find the size in here that you want, then maybe you want to try the scaling factor. And this is in percentages or even a custom. I would normally just leave this with the uh, append to dot resized. And what that means is when you get done resizing the image, it's going to call this one like kitty dot resize.png when it gets done. And it's whatever I have this set for. So I'm going to do a 50% instead of a fixed and resize that. So that went from 1.9 to 734. So I'm going to hit the space bar to get a preview of Kitty. Go full screen. It's still fairly sharp. And that image now is 960 by 540 versus the original, if, if you recall, that's 1920 by 1080. So again, resizing images. Now I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm just gonna concentrate on this image here. Right click, properties. So this image is 5,000 by 3,000. I'm not gonna repeat all the numbers. It was taken with a Sony camera. And yes, if you bring in digital photos of, uh, of images, if it has digital information like this, it'll bring that in with it. So in either case, I'm gonna right click on the image and do the resize. 
And I'm also going to, well, this time I'm going to just pick the size. How about if we go with a 1024 by 768 and resize? So it's building the image here and it's uh, 337 kilobytes versus 7 megabytes. So let's take a look at that. Thumbnail looks okay. And uh, the picture still looks okay. Because uh, it's a distance photo. Size of this image now is um, 1024 by 768. I still have the digital information attached, but I have quite the reduction in size. So let's take another image like um, maybe this one here. This is 869 kilobytes. And if we're not too clean, uh, keen on this kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte thing, maybe you wanna take a peek at the internet and go search uh, what one kilobyte versus megabyte was, what's one gigabyte you'll see the size differences. And most of you folks that have hard drives already know that you're all, most, of, most of them are in the gigabyte range. Even thumbnail, I'm sorry, thumb, thumb drives, memory sticks, some people have different names for them, uh, are in the gigabyte ranges. Okay, right click, resize. What do we wanna do with this one? Well, do, what size is it to begin with? Let's find out. Uh, 1920 by 1080. All right, same screen res that I'm filming in. So right click, resize. Do we wanna do the fixed size or scaling? Well, let's do the scaling. So uh, I'm going to do a 25% just to go crazy and take a peek at this. This is now 66 kilobytes. So let me first look at the original image. First, I'll just do the space bar and then I'll go full screen. So I can see that down at the bottom is a logo. It says wallpaperswide.com. That's where I got this wallpaper. And, uh, and it's nice and sharp. And I'm gonna open up this one. This one still looks okay in the thumbnail, but when I blow it up, it's fuzzy. And wallpapers wide is not even discernible because I, I shrunk this too much. I went from 869 to 66, but what's the size of this image? 480 by 270. So that probably wouldn't work too well. Well, that depends where, where are you placing this image? Are you placing this maybe on a mobile device? It may be okay, but I would probably go a little bit higher. But what I'm getting at is I, I have full control of, well, whether I wanna do the preset or scaling or custom. All right, what's the other tool? rotate images. I'm going to leave the default. So I can do the selective angles or I can do a custom and uh, the image will be called something rotated. So in this case, it'll be called six dot rotated dot JPEG when it gets done. You can see the, the name of the file right here. Okay. So it's slightly uh, smaller than the, the original but it wasn't really resizing the image, it was flipping it. Okay, so it's still 1920 by 1080, just inverted. And again, I can also rename that. So if I didn't like the six rotated, I can call that 6a.jpg. Right click, delete. So there's maybe uh, some reason to resize images, but more importantly, I just wanted to show this tool that you can add this to your file manager and we can close and go find that tool in software manager. Now, a lot of people keep forgetting what kind of, what the name of their file manager is. So if you've got kids or grandkids, maybe finding Nemo is a good, <laughs> a good thing to remember. Uh, it's a cute little cartoon but type in Nemo nonetheless. What you're looking for is Nemo Image Converter. This will not be installed by default. It will not be installed by default. Normally, I believe it's 12 kilobytes before you install it, and then it consumes 91 kilobytes on your drive. But install the Nemo Image Converter if you want this tool here to be able to right click on an image and resize that on the fly. You can certainly install all kinds of tools from different applications. 
but I'm just talking about a tool that integrates with your file manager. That way you can resize images on the fly. Thank you for watching.